A group of mothers in New Brunswick also demanding answers this morning. They believe they may all have been victims of a nurse who's accused of giving them drugs to induce labor without their consent. Now, you remember earlier coverage of this story. The nurse was fired last month after the accusations became public. Well, many of those moms have now gone to police and joined a class action lawsuit against the nurse and the hospital. And as Gabrielle Fami reports this morning, they are urging other women to come forward. Five-month-old Zoe is happy in her mother's arms, but the night of her delivery wasn't so easy. Within like five minutes of being hooked up to the IV, it just her heart rate drops, and then within another 10 minutes, we we're off to emergency C-section. Oh my goodness gracious, what a good baby. Her mother was given oxytocin. She never asked for it, neither did her doctor. To all of you in the same boat, like it's not your fault. It was a criminal act that, that was done to you and your babies when you're at your most vulnerable. I didn't have to have a C-section. Caitlin Middleton's story, eerily similar. With no time for an epidural, she was put to sleep for the emergency cesarean. Her baby girl, Nora, taken to the NICU. The parents never sure why. I was not told that she had to be resuscitated. I was not told that she was born not breathing without a spout cry. I had to read all of that in my records. And it just says Nicole kind of like RN. On her chart, Nicole Rue's signature, signed just before she went into the OR. Rue was fired from the Moncton Hospital after accusations she had given the labor-inducing drug to at least two mothers without their knowledge. Middleton says she feels violated and devastated. While the class action lawsuit is hearing from more mothers, RCMP say the criminal investigation is only at the beginning. They call this an extremely serious and complex case with several investigators involved. The nurse worked 15 years here in labor and delivery, and there could be many more victims. Gabrielle Fami, CBC News, Moncton.